What are the requirements of RAM IC? It works with the two voltages. Okay, RAM IC always requires a two enable. Okay, it requires a two enable. So what we will do, we will go to our RAM IC U5101. Okay, and check it's working. U5101. Okay, this is the symmetry and this is the IC. Okay. Now this is the RAM IC of this board 1.2. Okay, so DDR4. Now what we will do, we will check its power and enable. Okay, so pin number 11, 12 is VDD. Okay, we will check its VDD. Okay, 11 and 12. 15, 11 having 5 volt. Okay. 12 also having 5 okay. volt. Okay, both supplies are there. Okay, now pin number 7 and pin number 8 is enable. S3 and S5, they have been 5, 6, 7. This one is 7. 7 having no voltage. 7 having no voltage. Now pin wave 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 having voltage. Okay, pin number 8 having voltage means is this power VDD Q enable is coming, but this IC is run. In, uh, unable to release the output now tell me is this IC faulty or we will trace this line because see pin number 7 doesn't having any voltage but pin number 8 having voltage what we will do we should try huh? why why do not try the pin number 7 see I don't know, already told you na, that see RAM IC works with the 2 enable Okay, but right now one enable is coming now, so it should release the output with the one enable also. If the if one enable is okay, then it should release the output. But right now you see here, okay, six, seven, seven doesn't having any supply. Pin number eight having supply. Okay, means one enable is coming on the IC, but this IC is unable to release the output so maybe the problem of the ic now also possible now yes, sir. and if you 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 want to check the communication between the io and the pch you can check that also okay it's io number is uh, location number is uh, uh, u9111 what's the location number Okay, I will set this one X two four zero. It will take to the two four zero one. Okay, so in this board they are using a MEC. Okay, and if you want to check the S three S four line, see S four is pin number sixty seven. Okay, and uh, where is the S three? S three. This one is S three. Pin number seventy. Okay, so pin number which one? Sixty seven. Okay, let's check the communication man. 67, okay, 32, 64, okay, I need a very little 32, 64, 65, 66, 67. See, 67 having a voltage. Means S4 is there. Okay, now. Uh, about the S3, where is the S3? We have checked this one. Pin number 70. Okay. So, 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 Men's communication in between IO and PCHH boards. Yeah. It's a SOC board, no? So, uh, IO and 
and CPU in between communication is good. But RAM IC is not releasing the output. Okay, it's having a enable. Okay, only having a single in enable, no issue. But it should release the output. Correct, na? But but this one is not releasing the output. Okay, so what we will do? Let's check is boot line just uh, for the confirmation. Okay, see this is the boot line. Okay, BST line. No boost. No boost. Okay. Output having same point twenty, and input having four point seven. It's having a enable, but it's not boosting. Okay. And if you will will check check the clock of this one. Okay. P U five one zero one. Okay. Which one is the T on clock? Pin number nine. Okay. Pin number nine. Yeah. Five four. One side having nineteen volt, and other side having point twenty. Means clock is also going down. Na, it's also getting down. So maybe this IC is faulty. And if you will check its blink code, it's also having a some type of blink error. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Means five white, three orange. Okay, but this. This blink code is for the Dell engineers, not for us. Okay, and <laughs> not for the us. Only okay. So we will directly follow our sequence. See, right now uh, RAM having no output. No. So what we will do? We will replace the RAM IC. Then we will check our problem will solve or not. So this is the idea four. Okay. Put the size. Check the pin number one. This side having a cut. Okay, let's go. Okay. 
No. See, see the ampere on the DC supply. No, it's taking a good ampere. No. Check the enable. Now let's check the enable. Pin no seven and eight, no? Yes, seven. Six, seven. See. Now seven having three, three point. Okay. Then pin number eight. Having three point. Before pin number seven supply is yes. missing. Okay. If you want to now waste your time, okay. Sorry, I If you want to now waste your time, then go and backtrace the pin number seven. Why it's not coming? I have already told you now. If I say receive a single enable, it said release the output. Okay, but this RAM IC is not releasing the any output with a single enable also. Okay, right now it's taking a good ampere. Now let's connect the RAM and let's connect the CMOS battery because this type of boards take take too much reset. Okay, so it's 2.9. All are 2.9 batteries. Uh, okay, 3.1. This one is 3.1. No issue. 3.1 is got. Now the RAM. USB. Okay. This one is getting on, taking ampere, having a reset, also there, having a fluctuation. Okay, good fluctuation. Okay, maybe the display will come. Wait. This type of boards take reset, na? Too much reset. It is still taking voltage having fluctuation. Now I think the display will come, 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 come. Wait, 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 wait. It's getting off. Okay. Let's take too much reset. Now again, it's getting on. Display will come. Wait, we have to wait. Okay, now again it's taking a reset. And now again it's getting on. See the ampere now is going on 448. It constant there. And now display will come. You can see. Mm -hmm. No display still. Wait, how many times? Oh, okay, now it's having a display. It's having a display as a blink okay now if you remove the adapter and reconnect see this MBD will not get on directly and you will see it's a standby amp is 0.18 and in this condition this board okay it will check the supply 3 volt uh, for sorry 5 volt 3 volt 1.8 and 1 1.0 these are the before switch on supply now click the MBD MD on, see the ampere, it's taking, okay, it's taking, having fluctuation, now display will also come. Now it will not take a reset, display will directly come after some time. Okay, just wait, display will come. See, display is there. Display is there. Okay, and is display in nearby 280, 270, let's give the display. Okay, so this is the logic of shaking. And again, if you want to know waste the time, go and back backtrace the pin number seven. Why it's not coming? Okay. So just follow the logic that you have learned. Okay. Don't waste with the na Patanjali experiment. Okay. And if you now want to know do a Patanjali experiment, it's your way. Okay. Now, thank you for watching video. Okay. So if you want to get the knowledge on bias modding you can just purchase our Hindi edition all the videos are available already and uh, along with that there are many case studies as well as some videos theoretically on impedance and voltages are also there 
with the help of dso how you can check the motherboard are also included on this videos so complete packages of around uh, 40 plus videos you can if you like you can just purchase them it is a full of knowledge you can enjoy the videos and it is a hundred percent money back videos your money will not be wasted for that so if you like to join our bias and schematics group you can also contact us for joining that as well as we also have a training program of laptop chip level advanced level if you like to join that you can also come and join that so thanks for watching aditya double one triple t youtube channel if you like our channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot